enough physical space around you. When you bring yourself down onto the mat, if you need to give yourself a little wiggle, to just get out any little bits of excess energy, then by all means do. Maybe give yourself a little shoulder roll, a little wiggle around, maybe move that chest in a circle. When I come down on the mat, I generally have excess bits of energy that I just need to shake off before I bring myself into the still to start the class. So maybe just give yourself a little circle through the shoulders. You can lift your hips here as well. It's the only time in the class I'm gonna say that's okay to do. Bring yourself around in a circle. And then bring yourself back to centre. Bring your palms onto your knees. Facing up towards the sky, drop those shoulders down and close your eyes. And let's take a nice deep inhale through the nose. Expand your abdomen and send all of that air down towards the bottom of your lungs. Filling them like a glass all the way to the top. And when you reach the top, reverse the breath, draw the navel in towards the spine. And again, inhale. And exhale. Start to tune into your breath and as you do, tune out to distractions, thoughts and worries. This is your time, it's just for you, so forget everything you did before or need to do after. Take that imaginary broom sweep the mind clear of any clutter, any wandering thoughts or worries. And breathe, inhale. And exhale, feel that breath wash through you on the inhale. And exhale, reversing the breath. Pushing out anything that isn't serving you. And again, inhale. And exhale. And with every inhale, feel yourself lifting up through the spine, lengthening but grounding down through the mat, through your sit bones. Feel those shoulders pulling down towards the earth, leaving space for your neck to grow long. And let's just tune into those three key tension points. We tend to create our own stresses and little tiny tension pockets all over our bodies. So just notice the difference when we let go of those little tension points. Dropping the shoulders down away from the ears so we're not hunching and holding tension. Letting our neck grow long. Unlock the jaw, unclench those back teeth. Drop the tongue down away from the roof of the mouth and maybe have your mouth open a little bit. Start to soften your facial features. No frowning unnecessarily. Allow them to become relaxed and neutral. No tension in your face. And let's gently start to mobilize. Draw your chin towards your shoulder and roll that head from side to side. To just loosen up. And then roll that head the whole way around. Deep circle. If you don't want to do a full neck circle, I know it's not for everyone, continue to just roll your head from shoulder to shoulder. And bring yourself back to centre. Deep shoulder rolls up to your ears, down your spine. Imagine you're drawing circles with those shoulder blades up to your ears down your spine, really nice indulgent shoulder rolls and really feel like you're unlocking that shoulder girdle. It's such a nice feeling, a really deep shoulder roll. Really nice, lovely. And let's drop our right hand behind us, keeping the arms straight and take your left hand to the outside of your right knee. 
Gazing over your right shoulder, sit up nice and tall on the inhale. And as you exhale, push that knee away, twist through the spine. Deep breath, inhale. And exhale. Looking as far as you can behind you and try and keep that arm nice and long and straight. Don't collapse back into it. So when we're twisting, we're compressing our organs, releasing toxins. Exhale, release, bring yourself back to center. And when you release the twist, you're allowing fresh blood to flow through those organs. Bring your left hand behind you now. Right hand comes to the outside of the left knee. Lengthen up through the spine, drop the shoulders down, inhale. Exhale, push that knee away and twist. Deep breath, inhale. And exhale, push that knee away. Keep that back arm nice and straight. Keep that neck long, shoulders down, and really try and gaze all the way behind you and feel that deep stretch, twisting through the spine and the shoulders. One more breath, gently bring yourself back to center. Interlace your fingers behind you and open your chest. Opening out that heart center and pulling the shoulder blades together like chicken wings. And if you want to, you can start to hinge forward here. Bringing yourself into a little forward fold, really getting deeper into the shoulders. This is completely optional. If you don't want to do this, then by all means, stay, seat, stay seated. Take a nice deep breath, feel that stretch through the shoulders. And bring yourself back up, breath. And then take your hands, unlace them, reach them in front and start to walk those hands forward. Hinging at your hips and reaching with the arms. You're feeling those shoulders pull apart rather than pulling together. Bringing yourself as far forward as you can without lifting those bum cheeks off the mat and reaching with those arms. Feel that stretch through the shoulders. Start to walk the hands across to the right. So you're going to feel a stretch through the left side. Breathe into that stretch. If No matter where you are, you're going to feel that pull all the way down the left side and try and keep those bum cheeks glued down onto the mat. Try not to be lifting that left hip. Walking the hands all the way across now to the left and stretching the right side. Keep those bum cheeks glued. That right bum cheek should be nice and, and fixed down onto the mat. Feel that stretch all the way down the right side. Gently back to centre. Take your palms in front of you. Bring yourself into that all fours position on the mat. Push down through your palms. Push down through your knees and your feet. And take a nice deep inhale here. Really sending your energy into the mat as though you're about to lift up off the mat. And breathe. Inhale. Keep that back nice and straight. Exhale, make sure the wrists are under the shoulders, knees under the hips. Inhale. If you want to get a little bit of a core and glute burner here, tuck those toes under, lift the knees about 10 centimeters off the mat. Keep the spine straight, engage your core. Push back into your heels, feel that in your glutes and your core. And breathe wherever you are, inhale. Try not to hold your breath. When we do core, core exercises, people seem to want to hold their breath, and I tend to do it as well. You've really got to... Check in with your breath because it will help you through those exercises. Deep inhale. And exhale. And inhale, push back into those heels. Feel the burn in your glutes, in your core. And five, four, three, keep that breath flowing. Two, and one, drop the knees, navel to the floor, gaze up to the sky, hollow out the lower back. Exhale, arching like a scared cat, crown the head towards the floor. Inhale, opening out your heart center. And exhale. And if you like this movement, your cat cow movement, mobilizing your spine, then by all means continue here. And if you would like to get a little bit deeper into your body, if you want to get a little wiggle on, you want to get a little bit weird, then by all means do that as well. You can get into your wrists, your spine, maybe you want to bring yourself all the way forward. 
Maybe you want to come all the way back into a child's pose, reach those arms out. It doesn't even have to be yoga here. Just really get into all those little parts of your body that need waking up. Maybe you want to draw a figure of eights with your hips. Maybe you want to stretch out those wrists. Really push into all those little corners of the body. Really nice. Really get that movement going. Shoulders, arms, wrists, feet. Do whatever feels good for you. Really use these breaths. And remember, keep that breath flowing nice and deep. Deep inhale. And exhale. Really lovely, guys. Keep that breath flowing. And really indulge in this movement as well. Make it as weird and exaggerated as you like. And the good thing about practicing from home is that you really can do that because no one is watching you. I mean, obviously, people are watching me, but I don't really mind being weird. So get as strange as you like. Really, really stretch out all of those little body parts. Give me two more breaths here. And when you're done with those breaths, Sit yourself back on your heels. Bring your palms onto your knees. So take a nice deep breath. We're gonna tuck those toes under into your thunderbolt. And again, if this is too intense for you, feel free to just take a little child's pose. It is quite a, I know some of you said that this pinches and it does a little bit, but what we're gonna do is you're pushing it back into your heels and your feet. Bring your palms on your knees, deep breath, inhale and exhale and then we're going to take our toes pose after this which is going to push our feet in the opposite direction and what toes pose does is it stretches the tops of our feet our arches and our shins and it's really good for runners it helps with um, like acute heel and foot pain take a nice deep breath one more time push back into those heels exhale and tuck your feet bring your bum back onto your heels take your hands behind you and you're going to start to gently lift your knees, rocking on to the tops of your feet. And it doesn't matter how high you lift your knees, even if it's only a centimetre off the ground. If this is too intense, just bring yourself back into a kneeling position. And give me, give me five, four if you can, three, two, and one. Gently bring yourself back into an all fours position. Take that right toe, tuck it under, and lift that right leg out behind you. So you're lifting the right knee, knee bent, foot flexed. If you're happy here, lovely. If you want to trickle those fingers out in front, and if you want to, you can lift that left arm, so you've got opposite leg to opposite arm. And if you want to, you can reach that arm back, take hold of the right foot, and kick that foot into the hand, giving yourself an opposite leg stretch. Gaze straight ahead, find a place to rest your gaze and breathe. Give me five, four, wherever you are. Three, two, and one. Really nice, letting go, but keeping that foot raised. Place down, place your palms flat, push down through your hands, tuck that left toe under, and push up into a three-legged dog. Take a nice deep breath. If you're happy here, lovely. Keep that knee bent, the foot flexed. If you want to, you can open the hip, gazing underneath your right armpit, but make sure those shoulders stay nice and neutral, equal distribution of weight. And if you want to walk the whole way over, if you've got wild thing in your pose, then by all means, take that, send those hips up towards the sky. Nice bend in the back, reaching that right arm. Lovely, give me five, four, wherever you are, three, two, and one, wild things, back to your three-legged, everyone, three-legged dog, send that leg out behind you, draw the right knee in towards the chest, place that right foot, keep the back foot lifted, the back knee lifted, we're just going to do a little bit of a loosening of our hamstrings, take a nice deep breath, gaze straight ahead, and exhale, straight that front leg, bring yourself into a pyramid, inhale, lower, gaze straight ahead, exhale, straight, and let's just Really stretch out those hamstrings and lower. And straighten, this is really good if you've got tight legs. And lower, and straighten. Lower, and straighten. And lower, and straighten. And lowering down, tuck that left toe under, drop the left knee down onto the mat. 
Take a nice deep breath, reach those arms up in line with your ears, into your low lunge, your runner's lunge, stretching out our hip flexors, make sure those hips are squared to the front, make sure that knee is under the wrist, really sink into those hips, strengthening our quads and hamstrings. If you're happy here, lovely. If you want to take a twist, feel free to split the arms, then the left arm forward, the right arm back. Lovely, and if you want to, you can reach that right hand back onto your left cup, and the left arm up and over. Well done, looking good everybody. Give me a nice deep breath here, inhale. And exhale. Inhale, swing all those arms back on either side of that front foot. Bend that back leg, straight the front leg, flex that right foot. Nice deep hamstring stretch, inhale. And exhale, trying to sink lower. Really, really sinking into that hamstring stretch, but try and keep your spine straight if you can. Gaze straight ahead and hinge at the hips. Try not to curve the spine. You'll notice you'll get a deeper stretch, even if you don't go down as low. If your hips stay squared to the front and your back stays straight. Give me one more breath. I'm just gonna switch sides so you can see what we're gonna do next. And when you're ready, bend that right foot, bend that right knee, walk your hands to the center, and bring yourself into a side lunge. And we're just gonna get deeper into waking up our legs, so we're gonna bounce across to the other side. And then bounce. And if you can do this with no hands, then by all means you can try that. Bring your palms together at heart center. We're gonna go for three. Oh, I don't know why I said that. Three to the other side, two, and one, back to the right. Bring those hands on either side of that front foot. Place your palms flat. Step back into a plank position. Core engaged, body in a nice straight line. I'm gonna switch sides again. And if you want to, you can push straight back up into your downward dog. And if you wanna join me in a vinyasa, tuck those elbows in, come down through your chaturanga. Push forward, up and facing dog, lovely. Push back, downward facing. So we're gonna go over downward dog again in a bit, but for now you're just gonna look straight ahead, push yourself forward and drop those knees, bring yourself back into your all fours position. Lovely, tuck that left toe under, kick that left leg out behind you, bending the knee, flexing the foot, keep the spine straight. So here are your options. You can either stay where you are, you can walk that right hand forward, you can lift the right arm, or you can bring that right arm all the way back, right hand takes hold of the left foot, give yourself a nice big stretch, whichever version you're in. Find a place to rest your gaze, and give me five, four, well done, looking good, three, two, and one, letting go of the foot, but keeping that foot flexed, knee raised, knee bent, Push down through the palms, tuck that right toe under and push up three-legged with a bent knee. Feel free to stay here. You can open up the hip and lift that leg. So I learned yesterday that this was called a wagging dog. So looking underneath that left armpit, but make sure there's an equal distribution of weight between the hands. The shoulders are still in the nice position. And if you want to walk the whole way over into your wild thing pose, by all means, send that left arm back on the ball of your left foot. Right foot should be flat, right palm flat. Deep breath in here. And give me five, four, wherever you are. Three, two, and one. Everyone back into your three-legged. Straight that leg out behind you and then send that left knee forward, planting the left foot. Keeping that back knee raised, keeping that right toe tucked under. Take a nice deep breath, and we're gonna straighten pyramid pose. And lower, Ooh, this side is tight. Straighten, and lower, well done. Give me straighten, and lower. And straighten, really loosen up those legs, and lower. And straight, and lower. And straighten, and lower. And one more time, and lower, untuck that back toe, drop the right knee, bring yourself into your runner's lunge, hips to the front, stretching our hip flexors, strengthening our quads and hamstring, bring those arms up in line with your ears, 
really nice. And if you're happy here, lovely. If you want to take that split, right arm forward, left arm back, and you can drop that left hand back onto your left calf and reach the right arm up and over wherever you are. Breathe into the stretch. Give me five, four, three, two, and one. Windmill those hands back on either side of that front foot and bend the back knee. Straight the front leg. Flex that left foot. Deep breath, inhale. And exhale, start to hinge forward. Deep hamstring stretch. Back nice and straight, inhale. And exhale. Really nice. Really breathe into this stretch. Try and bring yourself a little deeper with every breath. Try and keep those hips squared to the front. You're not opening out on the right hand side. Give me one more breath. Gently drop that left foot. Walk the hands to the center. Bring yourself into your side lunge. And we're going to go from side to side. Again, and if you want to do it with no hands, then by all means do. Give me five, four, well done. Three, two, and one. Hands down on either side of that front foot. Step back, plank position. Core engaged. And if you want to push straight back up into your downward facing, by all means, otherwise join me for a vinyasa. Tuck those elbows in and come down. Push forward, up, facing dog. Push back. Downward facing dog. So first downward dog of the day, I want you to soften the knees. Push down through the palms, pushing into the little fingers. Gently softening those elbows, slightly drawing the shoulders away from the ears. Straight line from tailbone all the way down to your fingers. So that is the most important thing. Rotate the shoulders outwards, not inwards. This will stop you getting any rotator cuff injuries and draw the navel in towards the spine. And if you feel like you can, you're very welcome to straighten out your legs. Make sure that back stays nice and straight though. Draw the heels down towards the mat. Let's do a little stretch to stretch out those calves and hamstrings and lift up on your toes, raise the heels. And lower, exhale. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Five. And lower. Four, well done. And lower. Three. And lower. Two, really nice. Head between your arms. And one. Really nice. Drop forward into a high plank. Little circles here. Knees, bum, and down dog. So what we're going to do, inhale into your plank. Drop the knees, but just hover them. Send the bum back towards the heels. Up into your down dog. Let's do four of those. Plank. Knees, bum, down dog, and plank. Knees, bum, down dog, and plank. Knees, bum, and down dog. Last one. Knees, bum, down dog. Well done. Really nice. Let's take a little twist. Take your left hand, and you're going to reach that hand across towards your right ankle. Gaze underneath that right armpit. Deep breath. And exhale. Well done, exhale. Bring that left arm back, switch. Right hand goes to left ankle, gaze underneath your left armpit. And breathe, inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale, really nice. Take yourself back into your down dog. Walk your feet about as wide as the mat and start to walk those hands back towards the feet. And as you do, drop your bum down into a yoga squat, into your malasana. And just give yourself a little wiggle around here just to open up the hips. And then when you feel like you're ready, try and bring your feet as flat as possible. Knees open, bring your palms together at heart center. Take a nice deep breath here, inhale. Lovely. And we're going to do little yoga squat bounces. So bring your palms in front of you and you're going to straighten up into your Uttanasana. And lower into your Malasana. And straighten. Legs wide, about as wide as the mat. And dropping down. And give me five. Straighten those legs. And drop. Four. And squat three, 
and squat. Two and squat. And one. And this time staying into staying in your forward fold. Heel toe those feet together. Slight bend in the knees and bring your palms underneath your feet. Dropping your head towards the mat. Stretching out our hamstrings, our shoulders and our backs here. Inhale and try and keep those knees bent slightly unless you really, really feel like if you straight your legs, you're going to keep your back straight. If you're super, super flexible. Really nice. Keeping those hands tucked under deep breath. Really nice. Untuck those hands. Bring your left hand into the center of your feet. Bend the left knee, straight the right leg, and reach up with that right arm, opening the chest to the right side. Really nice, right leg straight, left leg bent. Exhale, drop that right hand to the center. Right knee bent, left leg straight, reaching up with that left arm. Deep breath, inhale. Exhale, drop that knee left, drop that knee, drop that hand, left hand to the center, bend the left knee, straight the right leg, open that right arm, chest open to the right hand side. And again, drop that right hand to the center, bend the right knee, straight the left leg, reaching up. Drop both hands, slight bend in the knees, bring your arms up in line with your ears, take yourself into your chair pose, pop all of your weight into your hip socket, make sure the knees don't go past your toes, sitting in an imaginary chair, engage that core, tailbone tucked under, feel that engagement in your glutes, shoulders down, arms in line with your ears, inhale, and exhale, and inhale, well done, if you want to stay here, lovely, if you want to take a four point chair pose, lift that right foot, take that right ankle onto your left knee, and if you want to take a little forward fold here, feel free to drop those hands down onto the mat. In your little wide, in your little one leg forward fold. So you should be in either chair, four point chair, or a one leg forward fold. Deep breath, inhale. And exhale. Really nice, gently bringing yourself back up if you're in your forward fold, trying to keep yourself on that one leg. Take that right leg out in front and you're going to bring yourself into a high lunge. Well done, everybody. Take a nice deep inhale here, turn that left foot out, right foot facing straight ahead, arms in line with your ears, shift into your warrior two. Tap that tailbone under. I'm just going to change sides so you can actually see what I'm doing. Bringing those, gazing down those front fingertips. Take a deep inhale, start to shift forward. Turn your right palm upwards and then hinge back. Left arm comes down the back of the left leg, right arm up and over, reverse warrior. And if you wanna take your half bind, feel free to bring that left arm all the way around to touch your right thigh, sink into that front knee bend. Lovely, well done. Really nice, everybody. Deep breath in here. Looking good. Take a nice deep breath, unwrap the arms, start to hinge forward with your palms open, bring yourself into your triangle. Make sure arms are in a nice straight line, shoulders stacked on top of each other. Deep breath here, inhale. And if you want to, uh, you can stay here, or if you that's a little bit too much, you can take your forearm onto your thigh, your left arm over the top of your head, so it's a straight line from finger to toe, and your extended side angle, but make sure that chest stays open, core engaged, and you're not just hanging out of the pub. And if you want to take a bind here, by all means, bring that right arm underneath the right leg, keeping that chest open to the side. Well done, lovely. Deep breath. Anyone that wants to go further still from your bind, step that left foot forward. We're going to take our bird of paradise, lifting up that bound leg, keeping that left leg steady if you can. And trying to straight that bound leg. And from your bird, step back, step back into your bind. 
and everybody wherever you are from either extended side angle triangle or bind we're going to bring those hands down on either side of that plump foot steps back into your plank position lovely tuck those elbows in and either push back straight up into your downward dog or join me for a vinyasa elbows in come down to your chaturanga push forward upward facing and push back downward facing dog really nice take a deep breath here and let's go again walk those hands back towards the back of the mat take the legs wide bring yourself into your yoga squat in chamanasana give yourself a little wiggle here to open those hips palms together feet flat take a nice deep breath so instead of our little squat bounces here you can either stay here if you would like to take a little arm balance practice your crow pose bringing your hands in front of you on the mat and what i find is good malasana is a really nice place to start crow pose so bringing your palms in front of you and what you're going to do is you're going to try and lift up and pop your knees into your armpits so push down on your palms and for crow pose just try tapping one foot at a time because it's not in your practice just try and practice lifting off and maybe you only hold it for a second or maybe you only tap the feet or maybe you fall out of it but you know practice makes perfect so let's give this a try really nice well done i can see people holding it for a long time well done really nice drop back into your malasana push it down through your palms and let's gently roll back up into our uttanasana forward fold heel toe those feet together slight bend in the knees tuck those hands underneath the feet and drop the crown of the head towards the floor uttanasana forward fold deep breath inhale and exhale pulling that chest onto your thighs stretching out your hamstrings your spine your arms your shoulders take a deep breath bring that left hand to the center of your feet bend the left leg straight the right leg lift that right arm up open the chest to the right hand side deep breath exhale drop that right hand bend the right knee straight the left leg opening that left arm up to the left hand side opening out your chest and switch left knee bent right leg straight left hand to the center of the feet reach the right arm up chest open last time bend the right knee straight the left leg reach that left arm up and open well done really nice deep breath and drop both hands bend the knees and then scoop yourself up into your chair pose arms in line with your ears weight in your hip sockets no knees past the toes sitting in an imaginary chair tuck that tailbone under nice neutral spine core engaged glutes engaged arms in line with your ears shoulders down deep breaths it into that chair really nice i'm just going to shift myself a little bit forward and as usual i have cut my head off try not to drop your chin onto your chest which i can see some of you doing you want to keep that neck long so try not to curve that back your back wants to be nice and straight so when you're sitting in a chair imagine you've got a solid chair back that you're pushing against really nice well done stick all that weight in your hip sockets and if you want to take your four point chair pose lift that left foot and take the left ankle onto your right knee sit into that like you're crossing your legs on a chair and if you want to take a forward fold here drop those palms down onto the mat well done really nice looking good everybody really feel that stretch so if you're in your forward fold you're going to feel a hamstring stretch in the right and you're going to feel like a glute opening a hip opening and a glute stretch in the left Curl the head towards the floor, give me five, four, wherever you are, three, two, and one. Those of you in your forward fold, trying to keep on that one leg, you're gonna lift yourself back up into your four point chair pose. And everybody, whether you're in chair or four point chair, you're gonna take that left foot and you're gonna place it straight ahead and step forward into a high lunge. Try and bring those hips up underneath the shoulders, ankle underneath the knee, sink into that front knee bend, take a nice deep breath. Turn that right foot out. Arms in line with the shoulders, tuck the tailbone under. Well done, really nice warrior two. Get 
Gaze down those front fingertips. We're going to hinge forward, turn the left palm upwards, reach that right arm back, and bring yourself into your reverse warrior. Well done, gorgeous. If you want to take a little bind here, take that right hand all the way around to touch the left thigh. Really nice. Sink into that front knee bend, looking good, everybody. Take a deep breath here. And one more time, and unravel the arms back to your warrior two. Turn the palms outwards, you're going to hinge forward. Triangle pose with a bent knee. Make sure it's a straight line from wrist to wrist, shoulders stacked on top of each other. Option one. Option two, extended side angle. Left arm to left thigh, right arm over the top. Keep that chest open, try not to slouch. Nice straight arms, so from fingertips to toes. And those of you wanting to take your bind, left arm comes underneath the left leg, right arm over the top. Keep that chest open in your bind, try not to slump forward. And anyone wanting to do Bird of Paradise, step that right foot forward. Keep that right foot sturdy as you try and lift the left leg up, keeping the bind. And once you've got yourself standing tall, try and straighten that left leg out. And when you're done, you're going to try and come out the way you came back in. So stepping back into your lunge with your bind. Wherever you guys are, whether you are in bind, triangle or extended side angle, Release the hands and bring them down on either side of that front foot. Push down through your palms. Step back, plank position. Either pushing back into your downward facing dog or take a little vinyasa with me. Elbows in, come down. Push forward, upward facing. Push back, downward facing dog. Really nice. I'm just gonna move the camera again. Give your feet a little walk out in your down dog. Pushing down through those palms. Shoulders away from the ears. Lovely, lovely. And from here, I just want you to look straight ahead, slightly bring yourself forward and drop the knees into your all fours position. And then walk your hands up. You're gonna bring yourself into a high kneeling position. So we've done a lot of forward folding. We're going to open up our chest. We're gonna take our camel pose, nice deep back bend. So camel pose is quite an intense, Back bend, it's a shoulder opener, it's good for posture, um, but it is intense. So at any point, if you feel like this is just too much, pop yourself back into your child's pose, come out the way you came in always. So high kneel, hips facing straight ahead, knees about hip width apart, your legs will be parallel out behind you. Bring your palms into the small of your back, look up towards the sky, and as you gaze upwards, start to push those hips forward. And maybe this is where you come to today. And maybe you want to go further, take those hands down onto your ankles and push that chest forward. So you're making your body a kind of D shape. Always pushing those hips forward. Let your head hang back and deep back Then Some people feel they're quite restrictive. So always come out the way that you came in whenever you want to. And just take a little child's pose once you come out. Those of you still here, give me five, four, Three, two, and one. Walk those hands back into the small of your back. Sit your bum on your heels. Walk the hands forward. Ground up the head towards the mat and reach those arms out in front, taking a child's pose. Really nice. And gently walking yourself back into your upright position. Just bring yourself into a seated position on your mats. Palms in line with your legs. And you're going to start to peel yourself back down onto the mat one vertebrae at a time. Nice and slowly does it. Really, really nice and slowly. Rolling back down one vertebrae at a time. Melting into the mat. Head, neck, shoulders and spine in a nice straight line. Take a breath. Bring your knees into a tabletop position, arms out on either side of you. And just drop those knees over to the left, gaze to the right, and nice little supine twist. Twists are really, really lovely for re-energizing and just releasing the body. And breathe. Always look in the opposite direction of your legs. 
and then gently drop those knees across to the right, gaze to the left. Gently bring yourself back to center, hug the knees into your chest, little apanas, now releasing your spine on the mat. Well done. And then gently start to straighten out, taking your full body stretch, point those fingers, point those toes, reach those arms up above your head, fingers and toes pointed, and um, somebody said that they get cramp in their feet when they do this, so if you do get cramp, and you're pointing your toes, try flexing them instead and vice versa. Reaching, reaching, reaching from one side of the room to the other. Imagine someone's trying to add inches onto your body. Pour tension into the stretch. Pull those shoulders up towards the ears. Make the ugliest face you've ever made in your life. Be the eyes, screw that face up. A million double chins. Reaching, 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 reaching. Everything I've told you not to do, do now. Pour all of that tension into the stretch. And while we're here with our physical tension, put your mental tension in as well. Building it all up, everything that's been pissing you off, I find it really helps to do this every day to just build all that tension up and throw it back into the world. And obviously it's not a permanent fix, but it's just a nice little release. Throw it all in. Everything you want to get rid of, everything that's not serving you right now, tension in your body and mind. Reach, 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 reach. Pouring it all in. Give me five, four, keep stretching. Three, two, and one, release. Bring those arms down by your side. Let the feet fall over and feel everything rush out of you almost like an electric shock. Take a nice deep inhale. And exhale. And if you would like to do anything, like grab a blanket, a jumper, pop on some music, dim, some, dim the lights, then by all means do that. I fully recommend taking Shvasana lying on your back on the mat, but if you would like to take it in another way, then by all means do. You can also, if you've got a really deep bend in the back, taking your Shavasana with bent knees helps push the spine down onto the mat and sometimes a little bit more comfortable. If you're pregnant, please lie on your left hand side in a fetal position with a cushion between your knees. Otherwise, bring yourself down onto the mat, closing your eyes, and take yourself back to where you were at the beginning of the class. No thoughts, no worries. Take a nice deep inhale through the nose, expand your abdomen, and send all of that air down towards the bottom of your lungs. Filling them like a glass all the way to the top. And when you exhale, reverse the breath, draw the navel in towards the spine. Start to tune out all your distractions, thoughts, and worries. Tune into your breath. That slow and steady rhythm. Maybe take that imaginary broom again and sweep the mind clear of any clutter, any wandering thoughts, anything that's serving you in this moment. Take your attention down towards your feet. Feel them fall open on the mat. Ankles, calves, knees and thighs becoming lightweight. Imagining someone has taken the batteries out of you. All the way up to the base of the spine and feeling each vertebrae trickle down into the mat one by one. All the way up to your shoulders. Feeling those shoulders drawing down away from your ears to allow your neck to become long. 
shoulders melting down into the mat like lava. Arms lightweight at your side, palms open, each fingertip unraveling. Neck long and head light, free of thought and worry. Jaw unlocked, back teeth unclenched. Tongue away from the roof of the mouth and facial features soft and gentle. And finally, take your attention to your chest and your abdomen. That slow and steady rise and fall of your breath taking over and guiding your body and mind into a deep sense of calm. Feel yourself melting down into the mat as though you're becoming one with the earth. And just take this moment and this breath for you, your time to inhale, and exhale. And start to wiggle your fingers and toes to draw awareness back into your body. Hug your knees in towards your chest and gently rock from side to side to release your spine on the mat. Bring yourself all the way over onto the right hand side into your fetal position. And gently bring yourself up to seated on the mat. Palms on your knees, facing up to the sky. And take a nice deep inhale. And as you exhale, deep breath and sigh. And again, inhale. Once more for luck, biggest sigh, inhale. Palms together at your heart center. Thank you all so much for practicing with me this morning. Stay happy, healthy, and safe. Hopefully see you this evening for a nice restorative. Have a lovely rest of your day.